For this exercise, we need to write the output that is printed when the given method below is passed each of the following pairs of maps as its parameter. We're given these values, and those are the string values that will appear in this map. This is our code, and this is the parameters that we have to deal with. When we have a map, we have keys and value. The first part on the left is the key, and the second part is the value. And this would be key one, value one, and this next part would be key two, value two, key three, value th three, and so on. When we go into this method, if we look at the first part right here, we're going to have horse and cow. We're going to make an array list of type string to store these values. And then at the end of the method, we're going to return the list. Right now it's empty. We're going to use a for each loop. And this right here, map dot key set. What this does is that it gets the key values. So for this first part, it's going to get horse, cow, dog, and OK. And every time we go through this for loop, it's going to get the next key value. So the first time we go into this loop, it's going to give us horse. The second time it's going to give us cow. The third time it's going to give us dog. And the fourth time it's going to give us OK. And if we had more, it would keep going. When we go into our if else statement, we're going to see map dot get key dot length. If we focus on this key part, what this means is that we get the key value. So here it's going to be horse. That is our key value. But that's not actually what it's going to return. When this is dot get key, that means it's going to get the value stored at the key. So this means it's going to look at the key, which is horse, and it's going to return cow. And for this part, since we have a dot length attached to it, what's going to happen is that it's going to return the length of the value. And the map portion, where it says map right here, that's just calling the name of the parameter that was passed in. The first time it's going through, it's going to get horse and return three because that is the length of cow and it's going to compare it to key dot length and what this does is it just looks at the length of the key so what it's saying is if the value is greater than the key for this part portion of the map it is going to go into this if statement we can see that the value is smaller than the key so that means we're going to have to go into this else statement and this else statement, when it's asking us, it's list.add at the index 0. So this means at index 0. If, they, if it was 1, it would mean at index 1. And if it was 2, it'd be at index 2. But it's saying 0, so it's going to be at index 0. And we're going to add the key. So that means it's going to add a horse to the 0th value of the list index. Currently, our list contains horse. And then it's going to list.remove map.getKey. So it's going to look at the key, and our key currently is horse, and it's going to remove this value. It's going to remove cow. Any values that have cow, it removes it. As we can see, none of our values are cow, so nothing is going to happen. We're going to do the same thing now. We are going to look at our key2, value2, and we get the length of our first key to be 3, or our second key to be 3. So that means key dot length, this part equals three. And the length of our horse is five right here. We can see that five is greater than three. So we're going to be in our if statement this time. All it's saying is list dot add map dot get key. So we're going to look at the key and get the value. So that means we're going to list dot add horse. We are adding horse back here to the end of the array list. Now we are going to look at the third key in value. We see that our third key is dog and our third key is cat. These are the same length, so they're both three. And if we look at our if statement, there's just a greater than sign, not a greater than or less than sign. So that means we're gonna be in our else statement and we have to list.add the key, the key is dog. So we're 
adding the key to index zero. And that means there's going to be a dog in front of this horse. And we have to remove map.getKey. We have to remove any cats from the list. I think I said map earlier. We have to remove it from the map. That's incorrect. We actually have to remove it from the list. If it said map.remove, if you can do that, you would remove it from the map. But since this is list.remove, we would be removing the first um, value that is cat. We don't have any cats in our list, so we're not removing anything. Lastly, we're going to look at OK and Yo. This is the same thing, so all it's going to do is put OK at the beginning, and it's going to remove any values of Yo in our list. There are no Yo values in our list, so we are OK. And this is going to be our answer for this part. We're going to be doing the same thing. We have different strings this time. So first we're going to look at our um, by. This is our key one and hello is our value one. We need to compare the lengths. So remember that this part gives us the value map.get key. That gives us the value and it compares us it compares it to key and it compares the length of both so we're gonna see that our hello value has a greater length than by so we're gonna be in our if statement that means that it's gonna list dot add the map dot get key which is which means it's gonna add the value to the list so hello is going to be the very last thing on our list for now it's gonna be also the very first thing and then same thing with bird and dog we're going to compare these see that dog is less than bird we see that the value is less than the key that means we are going to be in our else statement and we have to add our key value at index zero and our key value is bird and list.remove map.getKey so we have to remove any values of dog in our list there are no values of dog, so we're not really doing anything here. And bird gets added to the front. Next, we're going to look at hi and hello. We see that hello, so the value is greater. That means we are going to be in our if statement. And we are just going to add hi. Or we're going to add, um, we have to add the value, map.getValue, or map.getKey. So we're going to look at the key and get the value from the key. And that means we are going to be returning hello. Hyena and apple, these are strings of the same length. Since they're strings of the same length, we're going to be in our else statement. And we have to add the key value, which is hyena, to index 0. And we have to remove any values of apple. We have no values of apple in our uh, array list. So we're not doing anything. Next, we're going to look at our last string, which is fruit and meat fruit is bigger than meat so our else statement is going to be what we're looking at since the key is greater than the value we have to add fruit and remove any values of meat after we add our fruit we check if we have any values of meat we don't have any meat values so that means this is going to be our answer for the second part we're now on the last one. This one is a little bit more different. Until up to this point, we have not used this list.remove method or this list.remove um, call, but we will be doing so now. If we look at all of our strings, they're all going to be of the same length. So a is equal to b. So each these are the each of these first three values are one is equal to one, and then we see that our key is greater than the value for these. And since the key is greater than the value, we have to use our else statement because our if statement is saying if the value is greater than the key. Remember that for for this portion right here, we need to look at the key and we are going to return its value. And since there's a dot length, we need to return the length of the value. Our first part of our hash map that's going in here is our a is equal to b value. So we're going to get the key and we're going to add it into index 0, like this. 
and then we need to remove any values of b we don't have any values of b so we're okay we have c is equal to d so we're going to get the key which is c and remove any values of d after we put in c we check we have no values of d so we're okay we have e is equal to a so we do this and we put in our e and we check if there's any values of a and there is a value of a right here so what we have to do is we have to make note of this and take it out of our array list next we have ff is equal to a we're going to get the key which is f f and we need to get the value which is a there are already no values of a in here since we removed them last time we have gg is equal to c so we're going to get the key which is g g and the value c we do have one value of c right here which we need to remove next we need to look at our hhh is equal to ff and hhh is our key and ff is our value so we need to remove it after we add an hhh so we add this and we do see that we have a ff in here so we need to remove this ff adding our parentheses since it is an array list or our brackets this is going to be our answer i did forget i just realized i forgot to add gg into the array list that would go before um hh or would go after hh before ff like this so this portion right here to the right is going to be the final answer